Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading, energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Leo. This is going to be for June 2021. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect uh, for June. And then uh, we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. So this could be in anything. This could be in love, romance, uh, relationships, friendships, um, family, uh, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. We'll see what the cards have to say, Leo. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this message. And um, if this message resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, and those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Leo, let's get started. Over energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for June 2021? What is surrounding Leo? Over energies for Leo. Swords here, Leo. Ten of Wands. So there's something coming to completion here. Either you've been betrayed by someone and you're trying to release that, or you betrayed someone. So feel free to switch the roles if you like. The roles could be flipped or reversed. Um, Empress, Taurus. Libra energy, the world, yeah, something's coming to an end, something's coming to completion here. Um, Capricorn or any of the fixed signs, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there's this energy of sort of moving towards your happiness here. Yeah, I do feel like you're reaching completion perhaps in life. I mean, you are coming up as the Empress here, uh, Leo. All right, so let's see. Tell me about this. Let's use this one. Tell me about this Ten of Wands here. So I feel like maybe there's this energy that you've gone through, like, you know, a lot. You've gone through a lot of struggles, and now you're coming out on the other end here because I'm just seeing happiness here. You have the Nine of Cups. After the Ten of Swords, you have the Ten of um, the Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What is going on with the Ten of Wands here? conflict that you had here with yourself or with someone else, it's going to be released. Tell me about the Empress. The King of Swords. 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Tell me about the world. The Three of Cups. There's a cycle ending here, and I feel like moving forward, I feel like you're just going to be extremely happy. I feel like you're just going to be enjoying life here. I mean, you could have gone through a lot of conflict with, you know, friends or family or within yourself. Perhaps you've been walking around with a lot of baggage and you're trying, you are releasing that. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Four of Swords. I just feel like maybe there's this, there's this, I feel like there's this energy that you're going to be more at peace. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. And the Page of Wands. You have the High Priestess here. Cancer Pisces energy. You know, you could have been, you know, juggling a lot between a lot of stuff, just having a lot on your plate. And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles here, things are sort of balancing out. You're sort of like allocating your energy, uh, maybe money to like certain things, sort of like, you know, breaking it down sort of thing. But I feel like there is like, you know, a passionate new beginning that you're trying to pursue. Maybe you're trying to start a new business or something like that. You know, with this King of Swords, you know, I'm feeling like there's this energy of like living the life that you want to live and not worrying about other people, uh, what other people think. Because I feel like you don't really care what uh, care about what other people think here. I feel like you're trusting yourself here and not trusting what others uh, what others say or feel or think to influence in how you live your life. I mean, Leos don't really like to be controlled. Okay, let's see. All right, Leo, we have the Ten of Wands being clarified by the Five of Wands, Empress being clarified by the King of Swords. We have the World being clarified by the uh, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups clar being clarified by the Four of Swords. And then we have the Two of Pentacles being clarified by the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands being clarified by the Page of Wands. All right, let's see what's going on here, Leo. Outcome and advice here for Leo regarding their situation for June 2021. What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect here regarding their situation for June 2021? All right, Leo, let's see what's going on. on the bottom of the deck. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are definitely changing in your favor here. We have the High Priestess again. Cancer Pisces energy, Sagittarius Pisces energy, more Pisces energy here. We have the Queen of Cups, more water energy, Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like you're you're starting a new beginning in like maybe all areas of your life. Perhaps there's this energy of maybe being ready for love. Like I said, starting a new business, maybe starting a new job. Um, there's a lot of new things coming towards your way. As soon as you release whatever has happened here uh, to you in the past, all right. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. This looks really good, um, Leo. Tell me 
about this wheel of fortune. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. Wow. As soon as you release your burdens, your fortune changes. You're going to be... <sighs> New things, great things are coming towards your way. I mean, this looks really good, Leo. Tell me about the High Priestess. Ace of Wands again. Tell me about the Hangman. There's this energy of focusing on your intuition and trusting that. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. You have the Queen of Swords. So we have a pair here. I'm feeling like these queens are you. So perhaps this is a King of Swords that you're trying to release, maybe. Maybe you're dealing with someone that was not a good match for you. But I feel like you're in this energy of right now. I did mention this earlier that, you know, um, you know, there's this energy of really protecting yourself and really not caring what other th others think about you or let that dictate how you should live your life. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. You have the Five of Wands. Interesting. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like some people are going to be jealous of your abundance. You have the King of Cups and then the Queen of Cups here. Now, you know, if you're still paired up, I feel like someone is going to be jealous of your success. You know, maybe you're dealing with a soulmate that you released. Maybe they were toxic. Maybe they weren't good for you. Maybe they were not a good match for you. And you release this person and this person is trying to come back in to get a piece of what you have here which is this. This king here might be trying to correct their behavior too, might be trying to change also. And I feel like they're trying to move back slowly towards you. But at the same time, I feel like this person might come in sort of pissed off. It's like sort of like this energy of like, how about me? Like, you know, um, like I should be a part of this too, that sort of thing. I mean, you have the tower here. I mean, it seems like once you released whoever, maybe this king or that these burdens, things started changing. You know, there is truth to this. Like, if you haven't released something from the past, you can't make room for something new, you know? That's very true. And I feel like this is exactly what happened. You released something, and then you made room for new things in your life. Um, but I do feel like this person, there is this person that might be after your money, perhaps. Because they're seeing you doing so well. They're coming back. They want a piece of that. Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. The um, High Priestess being clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Hangman being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups being clarified by the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Five of Pentacles being clarified by the uh, Five of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles being clarified by the King of Cups. So Leo, this is your general reading energy check-in for uh, June 2021. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.